Hello, hello. Good evening. Happy Thursday. How's it going? I don't think um, YouTube has let me send you any messages. Let's do it. Let's do another little test of that, actually. Um, let's say it. Let's, let's, let's just do a haunted, haunted house because I'm looking at a haunted house picture. I don't think it's let me. Oh, it is. It's just really slow. <laughs> How is everybody today? Is everybody having a good Thursday? A super Thursday? Is everybody ready for some uh, some adventures? I'm, I'm kind of presuming that people have probably already seen this game, to be fair. I'm, I'm going to guess, Zoomies, you've definitely seen this game probably a few times. <laughs> but I hope you're doing both doing well. It's lovely to see you in the chat. Welcome on in. And I'm going to bring up... Let's, let's see, is this going to work? No, it's not going to work. I'm going to have to do it manually. Ugh, manually. Ugh. Ugh. Um, yeah, my Steam. My Steam. Steam? Stream! Stream Deck is, is refusing to participate in the festivities. So I'm having to do everything clicking rather than pushing buttons. God damn it. Um, so yeah, we are playing Killer Frequency today. A first person horror puzzle game set in 1987. Awesome, love it already. That puts you in the role of a late night radio talk show host in a small town America whose callers are being stalked by a mysterious killer. I have purposely avoided like any gameplay of this because I just want to experience it myself and be fully surprised, come what may. You had pizza, I'm jealous. Thursday's actually become my like my normal pizza day. And um, today, I didn't, I didn't have pizza. We had leftover mac and cheese, which was amazing. So I'm not complaining because the mac and cheese was damn good. Um, there you go, you get a nice, I get a funky little picture of my, my background because um, I'm having to click everything manually. Let's turn the funky intro music off. Let's pause on you because i want to get the game up and running which i kind of should have done already but i didn't so hey ho let's just hope that it all works and don't let's not jinx it by saying it's going to crash it's not going to crash it's not going to hit and crash it's a good game so i don't mind watching it being played again fabulous fabulous i'm very excited oh that's quite loud it's quite loud in my ears i'm gonna have to turn that down a wee bit um, right, can I have the pl game, please, OBS? We would like to see what is going on, what is being played. Are there are there different endings, Zoomies, or is it just a, it, it gears you towards like a, a solo singular ending? Words, words are hard today. <laughs> um, is it going to show? Are you going to show for me? No, you don't want to. Do you do you have an issue with showing us the game? Because we kind of like to see it. We kind of need to know what's going on. No? Oh, there you are. I was worried about you for a second. I already had a, an error earlier, like probably about 10 minutes before stream. And I let this little like writing popped up on the screen saying, oh, we can't locate this source. I had to panic about that for a moment. And then I realized it's a source I don't use anymore. That's fine. That's worked out all right. Bonus, bonus feature of streaming on YouTube less sources to worry about <laughs> can't complain no spoilers no no problem no problem i appreciate that um technically sort of okay so that's kind of like a spoiler free guide i like that i appreciate that zoomies thank you um so i probably should have checked the settings before i started but oh well we can check them and change them if we need to okay so um regular movement with camera and regular movement with keys lovely please no head bob please no head bob fantastic um it did give me a little memo there sorry i'm not winking at you i've got something in my eye already <laughs> um is it just click click wow i really do have something in my eye difficult um do i need to investigate the trash or it's just to show me picking up objects press click we can do that Beer. I hope that's beer in there. 
You can hold two objects. What between objects with hands? With... Really? Are you sure about... Oh! That's... Oh, okay. The wheel. That makes sense. Drop it. It doesn't break, though. Throw objects. Hell yeah, I'll throw it. Yeet! Oh. Okay. That wasn't a great yeet. Um, hold it to place it. Release it when a valid... In a valid position. Here we'll do. Here we'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Fabulous. Do I need it anymore? I hope it's beer. Um, your choices matter in a way of saving the game. Well, I already know I'm going to make terrible choices. <laughs> so does that mean I'm getting a bad ending? And it's not because I'm purposely choosing to make terrible choices. I just accidentally make terrible choices. Um, all right. Where are we going? What are we doing? Lock. Shock. Barrel. Is that my bed? Ooh. Pick up. Oh. Okay. I hope that did something useful. It looks useful. Ooh. Who's whistling at me? Is it Negan? Is Negan here? Save this to throw at him. Throw it at Negan. Um, inspecting objects. Press E to begin inspect. That is a very ooh, suspicious mug. Um, let's put that in the other hand. Can I pick you up? Fantastic. So inspect you. Can I rotate you? Hold and oh. Oh. He found. Okay. E to exit. Now I now have a mug and beer. That looks good to me. That is a good start. Button? Button? Not a button. Crouch. Muggle crouch that and can we open this door open the door hold and move the direction you want to open great funky clock Ooh. that's not good i just wanted to put beer in my mug there's someone there isn't there there. What has happened to my beer mug? <laughs> Ma'am, can I have my beer and my mug back, please? I want my beer mug back. <laughs> the music is fitting. It's very fitting. You hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or... I don't know, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I... <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, <laughs> not dogs? <laughs> I know what a cat is. But, I mean... Does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously? Do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show. And he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Okay. Hey, Legos! There are so many buttons. What are the checks? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let's do the check. I do need a check. All right, fine. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. <laughs> Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. <laughs> let's start with record playing. Okay. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Okay. Easy. <gasps> so much choice. What do we? What can we play? What can we play? Give me your. Oh. Oh. So. Oh. 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 What are we play? Uh. Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Let me choose a song! I want, what's the, uh, featuring the night... Okay. I'm, I'm going to choose this one. And then we put it on here. The record box is on the left, and the record player is on the right. Sassy. Pick a record and stick it on the turntable. Peggy then sassy. hit play. Got it. Great! Now turn it off. No! 
Why? Thank you. I want to listen to my tunes. Ooh. Ooh. Do my 80s workout. Ooh. Press the stop button on no. the record player. Thank you, Peggy. Ooh. Ooh. Do my 80s workout. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> All right. Up next, phone line buttons. buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Line one. Line one. Is that line one? All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain <laughs> Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Oh, no. Yeah, it's a riot. Oh, no. Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. Peggy! You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Peggy! Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Help. Is there a help. Peggy mute help button? Peggy. They haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I, pressed it. I labeled it for you. Yeah. <sighs> Press for Peggy. Press for this Peggy. is your brain, Forrest. <laughs> Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. Sound blaster. That's an easy one. Is it? Really? Sound blaster. 189.6. There we go. Oh. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Okay. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Uh, there were too many instructions. What, Peggy? <laughs> the play a song. Oh. Oh, the, oh, 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 oh. Sliders should be right in front of you. Like, directly in front. Nice. Ooh, so is that the soundboard? <gasps> okay. Oh, I want to play. Let me play with buttons. Done. Play a song, grab the sliders, and move them up and down. I Go nuts. I ah, I'll have you know. It's pretty, isn't it? I know what you mean by the, like, somewhat cel-shaded. Um. All right. Ooh. Seems to be all working. We done? Captain? <laughs> we sure are. That's better. Coming in for landing. <laughs> Local time? I should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It it's my fun running. side that gets me in trouble. Oh, now, hello. let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. <laughs> goat. I thought that was a joke. <laughs> I don't know why I think of nope. goat. And don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Still got something in my eye. Okay, you're live in three, <gasps> two... 189.16. I'm on the radio. <laughs> Welcome to Miko Good FM. evening, Gallows Creek. <laughs> this is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, <gasps> The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. <sighs> Guess that scream. <laughs> Please be a This goat. is actually one of the Please station be management goat. better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm going to play you a scream. Okay. Then you call and... <sighs> Guess that scream. Okay. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? Okay. That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. Hit them with we'll the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and hit. then call in to guess that scream. <laughs> Peggy, what do you mean, play the tape? I'm playing it. I used to have a tape guy do that for me. I You're not in out. Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. I did it. Oh, wait. Forrest, oh. you do have the oh. tape right. Oh. 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 You knew we were doing this tonight. Oh. 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 Peggy. Let's be real. Oh, American Guess Shoes? Guess that scream is a terrible idea. Which one's the screams? No, I I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. Uh, We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. I'm trying. And you're the one at the mic. I'm so... trying. Thank you, I'm trying. Ooh, interesting. Um, hmm. Okay, I, okay, okay. What's this last one? I didn't inspect this one. Hit. What? We don't have the tape. Oh. Uh, okay. Really? Peggy, you want, you want me to scream? 
You I don't have the time. You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it. <laughs> do That's it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a yeah. scream and let it rip. Do the thing. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. Had to step away there for a second. Listen close. Oh, God. And then call in Please to... Please don't me. Guess that scream. Okay, which scream are we going for? The perturbed yeti scream, the falling from a cliff scream, or drowning scream? I want to. I kind of want to go for perturbed yeti. <sighs> well, folks, there you have it. No, I thought it sounded like. Call in with your guesses, <laughs> and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing maze maze and one free fried dough. No. Right. I know. No. Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while Ooh. you get dialing. Oh, sugar. Music. Yeah. Oh, wait. Should I introduce the song? Oh, it's too late. Uh, yes. Time to go on the journey that is. Blast processor with their hit song, <laughs> 1980X. I'm making a mess. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. Yeah, it was. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. Oh, I love it. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Line it up, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight of my week. Wait, I can't eat. Oh, first, there's a call coming in. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, Forrest, cool, shut cool. the music off. Oh. Okay. Ring, ring. Oh. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Caller, <laughs> you're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Uh... Are you calling to guess that scream? Oh, should we be cheeky? Slow night. Shouldn't you be working? Um, should we be cheeky? Nah, let's just stick, let's stick to Welcome it. Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, <laughs> but you may have an educated guess. Pretty good response, what? actually. No! Look, I found a body and I need your help. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? <laughs> Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Um, let's just see if they're being serious. I mean, I know they are, but let's Leslie, just check. I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. <gasps> dun, what? Dun, dun. Sheriff Matthews is dead? Who's Sheriff I Matthews? I couldn't get any response <laughs> from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the I, station I love the music. and... <laughs> I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Oh, no. Do you know what happened to him? Ooh, Someone got him. Sheriff. Someone got up very <laughs> close <laughs> and... <laughs> I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. Okay. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Uh, where are the other officers? Or is there anyone else at the station? Uh, both good questions. I don't, I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or <laughs> whatever cops are supposed to do? <laughs> no. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, yeah, but she's sheriff. knocked out, <laughs> tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three, but Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any yeah, idea who could have body. done this? Let's call the radio house. That's what out. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. Yeah, they need to send you. someone over from their department. Let me I get tried, on. but I can't call choose. anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. <laughs> I'll have to go there myself. 
Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, <gasps> who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 <laughs> calls to what? come into you. <gasps> why me? This is a bad idea. Um, no, this is a bad idea. No, I'm sorry, but this is a terrible idea. What on earth made you think to do that? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. Oh, God. You're the only person equipped for the job. <laughs> There's too much Besides, responsibility. There are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Old. Keep people talking, you know? <laughs> Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. I don't you do know. know that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from <laughs> Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't she matter. still sounds way too chill besides, about it. There are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, let's have some on the job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious deputy martinez. But I don't like talking on the telephone. Cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell. And the door itself only has a food tray slot. Priorities. Food tray slot. That's too narrow for me to reach through. <gasps> There's gotta oh, be another no. way in. Oh, um, try to break down the door, find another way into the cell, or find another set of keys. Break down the door, come on. Any chance you could break Ow. down the door? It's a holding cell, Forrest. <laughs> These doors aren't budging for anybody. Sounds to me like a you problem. I think you're just telling me you're not strong enough, though. Um, find another way into the cell, find another set of keys. There's got to be another set of keys, right? Um, why am I solving the sheriff's be problem? Set of keys somewhere oh, wait, in the sheriff office. <laughs> Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Um, check the officer's desk. Check Sheriff Matthews. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys yeah. on him when he... Oopsie. You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. <gasps> Your detective One skills second. are lacking. Oh, I think I might be sick. Oh, no, don't be sick. Don't be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. Oh, please don't vomit I'm on the body. I'm just going to turn you over. Please don't and... vomit on the body. Oh. Please don't stare at me. I... This kill is you for real, right? Wait, <laughs> that might be them. Keys. Good job, Looks Leslie. Like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. <gasps> Give me a minute to untie down. Go figure. Martinez. The keys work, everybody. Right so far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? <laughs> Forget about Forrest. What about Miko? <laughs> um, I can't handle this all night. I think we can handle this. I'm quitting. Hey, fam, if this is a prank. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I think we can handle this. <laughs> yeah, that seemed to go okay. Maybe Leslie was right. Maybe we can handle this 911 yeah, sure, business. Yeah, sure, but you trusted me. That's Miko. the spirit, Forrest. Go wrong. I think you're right. Though, I have to say, I... Well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. I don't Same. think so. Come on, Martinez. There we go. Just gonna sit you in your office chair. Why? I'll head to my car in a minute. I don't I'm think... Back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. Oh, okay. I thought she meant the I'm sheriff. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. <laughs> I thought she meant she just casually moved now, the body. Martinez would be a sitting duck. Um, you're leaving? We're on our own. Is that the right thing to do? That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right no now. No risk. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Oops. Leslie. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. Go what? On. No, no way. This uh -oh. can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling? Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see Negan. It, but Negan's back. Dead, right? Right? Nope. But that mask. How the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. 
The whistling Who man? The fire man? Who's the whistling man? <laughs> he was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore really? that mask. But he's dead. He's... What Clearly not, hell? Leslie. Oh, God. Do you think... We... Do you Oop, think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? Probably. Oop, He's coming far. this way. Oh, oh, lock the doors. Stay inside Ooh. and lock the doors. Goodness me. Right. I've got, okay, I've got to pay attention and look over here because there's like Horace, decisions happening on. over here. We need to focus. What, 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 Peggy? I need a new plan. My car's <laughs> I'm not horse. focused. <laughs> oh, 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 run for it. Oh, run for it. You need to run for it. The whistling man might break through the door. We can't run for it. <laughs> Deputy Martinez isn't even conscious. <laughs> Everyone and for themselves. To Go. To Henderson on foot? There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Go, go, like, run, you should take run, one run, of those. Run, run. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... Snack? Pocket snack? Just reach into your pocket there, deputy. And... Only grab snack. Yes, got him. <laughs> Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice yeah, one, Forrest. Run. Good thinking. <laughs> but wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? Run. The whistling walk, man is right there. Slide. Take. Oh, um, take Deputy Martinez's gun. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could Martinez you use that? Places, right? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. Oh, no. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Go with it. Quick. Get it. Get it. Is this all happening I... live on the radio? Oh, Shit. wait. It is. On it's air. Empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend Listeners are going to think this is story time. Um, is there a weapon weapon lockup or can you see any other weapons? Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. A baseball bat. Um, that just lies around, right? Let me right? check Deputy Martinez's belt. Maybe you have a pokey pokey stick or a taser. Do you have a taser? All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton. Pepper oh. spray and taser. Hey, use I taser. Only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Taser. What should I take? Button. Button. Smack it. Smack it. I take the baton. You can always trust a beating stick. Yeah. Stand. Smack it. I've got it. <laughs> I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then. If a doubt, smack it. Wait. Do you hear that? Nope. Definitely not. No. I I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's going to be quiet. We're knocking. Can you still see the whistling man? Maybe the freak left. That's rude. Um, be careful. Um, mm, be careful. Be careful. I don't like it. Did I dye my hair? Slightly, yeah. But it's an Darker. opening, and I've got to take it. <laughs> okay, Deputy Martinez. Me. If you can hear me, it's time to move. Me. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep. There you go. Lean on Are me. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, so she can carry Martinez, but she can't beat down the door. Again, you're Skill issue. dispatch now. Skill so issue. I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Good job, Lizzie. Go away. Death I want to play my it. tunes. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Good luck, Lizzie. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. God, I hope she makes it through this. <sighs> you know, I've got to say, <laughs> this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. As long as you have 80s tunes, absolutely. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. Already? I'm putting the call okay. through. Hello? <laughs> Forrest? Peggy? Peggy. This is Leslie. Forrest. Are you there? Peggy. Over. Donkey. Um, hello, we're oh, we're here. Over ten, ten four. Yeah. That's a big ten four there, good buddy. I, I'm <laughs> guessing you made it to the car. That's then? so cheesy Sorry response. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made this it to the car. This game is hell for when you need the second opinion because the stream delay. I know there's such I a big stream delay, like isn't there? Anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get get back! Get away from her! Get away, Negan! Leslie, what's happening? Ah. Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! You tell him, Leslie. Get off of her! Get! Stay! Smack him! No! Smack Let him! Go of it. Smack him! No! Oh, that didn't sound good. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, dear. Um, Killer has a track. Drive! 
Drive! Leslie, drive! Martinez! God damn it! Bye, Martinez. Are you all right? D do you think you got away? Forrest. <laughs> what? You need to get to Henderson, Leslie. We can't let this happen again. We pick a different Peggy's track. right. We've all got our part to play now. Let's put you in. How long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. Ooh. 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 It's going to take a while. Maybe two, three hours each way. God. Slightly less <laughs> if I put my foot down. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Next year? Oh, I think I prefer the other one. Mm. Oh, 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 God. Okay. You better floor it. You keep that pedal to the floor, then. <laughs> we'll see when you're back. Thank you. I'll be back as fast as I can. All right. Oh, I... I need a minute. Oh, is that chewing gum? What's that? Is that chewing gum? That's disgusting. I'll be out of range soon. I'll radio back as soon as I can, once I got the cavalry. Oh, yeah. Take care. Try not to crash, please. Try not to crash. <laughs> we, uh... Leslie can't handle this. need you back in one piece. Good luck, Leslie. <sighs> ring, ring. Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer oh. on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Dun, dun, dun. Please make sure to stay safe. Stay safe. And Leslie... We're counting on you. And play good tunes. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, Megan. then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. Oh, yeah. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Yeah, here you go. Tunes. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's going to take her four <laughs> hours? Choices really do matter, don't they? This guy's going to kill make them so quickly. the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial Peggy. killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Moon. Went around in a freaky mask, Ooh. whistling, and... Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. And that down a wee bit. No reason for it. No motive. Getting all the callers just... killed. If there is, we got this. <laughs> Do you reckon we, there was a way to keep like Martinez alive? Um, so okay, what's happened to him? So he's come back tonight, so we're screwed. Hmm. Let's go and he's come and back tonight. He's come back tonight? Probably not. Police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it whistling point now. And it was, well, it nice. was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the, the river. In His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, nope. what's the story? <laughs> story is he's biding his time, <laughs> waiting to take revenge on the town. That made right, a satisfying that's the satisfying story. <laughs> what's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, dear. Um, we will do our best. I'm sorry, that thud was really satisfying. Um, we'll, do, we'll do our best. Guess we'll find out. Or so we're screwed. Oh, we'll find out. It's I fine. I guess we'll find out what we're dealing with, whether we like it or not. I guess so. <laughs> at least we got the word out, I guess. Oh, no. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday <laughs> after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. Nope, just 35 no, people. 35 people. <laughs> yeah, thought so. At best. So there was a way to keep Martinez alive. <laughs> Whoopsie. I'm guessing I probably should have chosen what the, um, like the pepper spray or the taser. But I wanted to smack it. Battle is a good option for that. Um, 35 at best. Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners. Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. <laughs> and what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know, 
before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah, <laughs> before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. I have no idea what type I put in there. Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it The world's famous annual gallows. The whistling man hasn't killed me yet, I guess. Yeah, I guess we're going to learn a lot about perspective <laughs> tonight, give huh? Me co oh, we have a call coming in. Buttons. Take it when you're ready. Please don't give me co Time buttons. to turn the music off. <laughs> Hello, caller. Oh, you're live on 189.16, The Scream. Right. Is everything uh, all right? <sighs> <laughs> okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? It's a walker. Why is zombies okay. calling? What's your name and why are you calling in? Steve. Not them, they can't whistle. I come back from the dead to kill again. Frank no Caller. Do you accept requests? Um, that's not the whistling man. Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love <laughs> to see in the obituaries. Uh, maybe you must make a sacrifice to us. Dude. Oh my god. Us. I, I mean, me. <laughs> Cheese dusted pretzels. Cheese dusted pretzels. Dude. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Sure, sure, you're really this person. Goddamn kids. Yeah. And cut him off. Cut him off. Cut him off. Yeah, cut him off. Uh, Does sound like a surf dude. We also we want, also <laughs> want a mega goal. I got mega goal. Just tuning in. We do, in fact, have an actual killer <laughs> out in the streets tonight. Anyway. What does it mean? I didn't do anything. To it's all of you it's staying totally inside, innocent. Your doors and windows locked. <laughs> I'm innocent movies. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, music? Happy tunes? New record? Have we got more options? No? Play a record, Forest. Yay! No, don't like this. Next. Peggy. What the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a Better. thing. A thing? Ugh, oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. Yeah, and this record no is my favorite so far. whistling man was just a prank. But Leslie... No, that... That's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Oh, do we? Okay. Let's do this. Next caller. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Spoil sport. Shut Hello, on. caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <laughs> what? Uh, I dialed 911. <laughs> I need the sheriff. It was a right bad away. song, Legos. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. I did What's not like name? the song. <laughs> What's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. <gasps> um, oh god. I mean, both of these are terrible options. Like, neither of these options are reassuring. Like, shouldn't we be reassuring them? Um, cops aren't coming. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson <laughs> for help. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run. And now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh God, it's actually happening. Oh, 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 where are you now? A jazz run. 
bad night to go out front. None, no, those don't help. Where are you now? Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Or... Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing What's flat. jazz running? But I dropped my keys somewhere along the way. I never locked the door at least. I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. I really wish I'd asked what jazz running was now. What's jazz running? Can you go back and find your keys? Sounds like you lost him. I think you'll be fine. Is there anywhere else you can go? Don't go, yeah, don't go back. Is there anywhere else Is you can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... He's back. <gasps> oh, shoot. <gasps> Sugar honey iced tea. <gasps> Look, I don't know anything about cars. Neither do I. But I gotta start this engine without the keys. I don't know how to do that. have to help me. Sandra, well, I know you don't to do that. If it helps. <laughs> Can I often play under the tube? Can I? I'll call you back when I find it. <laughs> oh, okay. She cut now herself off. Listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest mm -hmm. Nash. Your friendly mm -hmm. neighborhood mm -hmm. radio host. Jazzercising. Panic and what is jazzercising? Sit tight while the record spins, folks. I'm trying to process this in my this head. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Yeah. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something. Timberline Twins talk motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I what know. Else can we it's, I'm Ooh. it's weird. Ooh. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Huh. Anyway, go see what you can find. The go offices are see out the what door you can find. Down the hall. We're leaving. We're leaving. Down the hall. Oh, 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 open the door. Yeah, keep that music going. There's two halls here. Toilets, toilets. Uh, radio? Is that Peggy? So many locked doors, so few keys. Oh. Okay. Oh, text panels enabled. I don't know why, but okay. Hot wire it. Uh, do I look like I know how to hop wire a car? <laughs> oh, let's do some photocopying. Ah! God, I'm blind. Um, phone, telephone. Ooh, sellotape. Do we need sellotape for anything? Nope. Oh, okay. Um, da, 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 da. is this a cloth? Coffee. Coffee. Creepy hour. Ooh, car. Car magazine. No. No carmazine. Hey! Tunes are back. Wonderful. Um, so we're looking for information about... Ooh. Chili cooker. Um, cars, right? So we're looking for a desk. Ooh. About... What is this? No car. Oh, I don't need the pen. Um, nope. Can I... Can I... Can I... No, I can't investigate that. The, bruh. <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> I don't. I don't know how to do that. Now this has to be important. Oh, twins! I've borrowed your car theft magazines. Those <laughs> Quavos Rancheros aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. Pray for me. So is it in the toilet? I got one about trucks. You want them? Trucks? So I'm guessing it's in the toilet. Why have I still got the post-it? Toilet? I need a key to get in there. Yeah, you do. Toilet. Did you leave it in the... Oh. Scream. Okay. Oh, that's messy. Did you leave it in here? No? Oh, you did. Wait. No, that's just the general newspaper. Okay. Newspaper? Oh, 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 oh. This looks useful. Yeah. Car magazine. Object tray. Place items in the object tray. Other way around, maybe? Can't investigate it. Okay. Okay, it's just going there. Front of the magazine. You know how to hot wire a car? Okay, you can teach me. You can teach me, please. <laughs> right. Peggy. Oh, press for Peggy. 
Did you find anything? Yes. Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Looks well, like, like the front perfect. cover of that movie. Um, when Christine? you're ready, shut the music off. Okay, shut the music. Yes, Peggy. Done. Caller on line one. Yes, Peggy. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? <gasps> the creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, <laughs> and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this, baby? Um, I can't. How do you turn it? I can't turn the magazine. <laughs> I'm just asking it from one hand to another. I can't turn it. Oh, there we go. <gasps> yes. Oh my days. Oh, oh, oh. There's, there's it. Eh. Okay, that's better. Okay. Right. Step one: use a screwdriver. Put. Okay. Use a screwdriver. Um. Uh. Okay. And turn it. Twist it. Oh lord. That one. Put the <laughs> screwdriver in the ignition <laughs> and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I, I, oh, screwdriver's too fat to fit. Okay. What next? Oh, Lord. So now remove the steering wheel column cover. Yeah. Unscrew the steering column. All right. What's that? Just turn. Just turn. <laughs> one, two, one, two. One, two, two. Three, four, ch 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 God, how long are these screws? Okay, covers off. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here all paired up and... Oh, God, my heart is pumping. <laughs> you could do it. Oh, 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 wait, we got a prompt. Okay, you're doing great. So, uh, tell me exactly what you see. Tell me exactly what you see. Okay. Red wire. A blue wire. A Red. yellow wire. A, a green wire. And a brown wire. Oh, Lord. What's the serial number? So I need to do the serial number. Serial number. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. Ooh, that was one. That was... Five, seven, six. Okay. Um, I need to. I need to investigate this. So, how do I turn my text off? I've, tur I've turned the text on, and now I can't tell it off again. Um. So, if there is a four before a three, so I, I always remember there's a, if there is a five, if there is a six anywhere, and it doesn't start with a five, green and brown. So it's not green and brown. If there is, I can't read the last one. Um, if there is a zero at this end and a three doesn't come before a six. Uh, I think it might be the last one. I only remember that. I only remember the first three numbers, which was like five, seven, six, right? Can I ask her to repeat it? Can you repeat it, please? Can, she, can we get her to repeat it? Oh wait, there we go. Text panels disabled. The funny thing. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's right there. That's handy. Okay. Right. Investigate. So, here we go. I'll just put it like, like, like that. There. there we go. Perfect. Okay. Slightly up. Slightly up. Slightly up. Slightly up. Perfect. Okay. Now I can see it. Thank God. Um. So if there is a four before a three, and there is a seven in the number, there is a four. There is a four before a three, and there is a seven in the number. So red and blue. Let me just check the other. So I think it's that one. So I think it's red and blue. Um, there is a six anywhere, and it's not with five. So it's not that one. If there is a zero at the end, and a three doesn't. Oh my god! <laughs> Why is there two possibilities here? If there is a zero at the end, and a three doesn't come before a six that's red and yellow but what it's two possibilities isn't it if there is a four 
before a three. There is a four before a three, and there is a seven in the number. Yes. You think the last one, but do you feel like the first one applies too? There is a zero at the end, and a three doesn't come before it. I feel like the first and the last one, the top and the bottom do apply, which is confusing the hell out. But you still think the last one. That's making me very nervous. <laughs> I need, I need, I need, I need to, you, you both. Hmm? Oh, no seven. Yeah, I, I read that as no, N-O number. Thank you. See, we use... I didn't read that as no seven. I read N-O as standing for number seven. So that, that helps me massively. Thank you. Ooh. So last one, the red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. Yeah, All I understand right. N-O as not we the word the I, number. Then we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire, what next? So now strip the purple, now strip the purple wire. Strip the purple wire. So don't touch it. Brush the purple wire. Brush against the twisted. Yes. Yeah. Strip, brush. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush and. <gasps> Yoohoo! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Fantastic work, baby! Does, is this Anytime like. You want to come down to the jazz studio? You get in for free! Oh, yeah, I want to get in for free. Um, are those really accurate instructions though? Because maybe I should start memorizing those for no particular reason. Just because I want John Wick's car. Um, we did it. Just keep driving. I'm glad you're safe. But lay off the jazz. No, clearly the jazz helped her. Um, we did it. I almost can't believe it, but we did it. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised. Nice about that. work, Forrest. Blur I bet Sandra is positively jazzed that you answered the call. Peggy, stop. Bet I am, baby. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Sure did. Here comes Music. another hit track that <gasps> we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also Let's having, having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.6 Monday to Friday Don't talk at me, five. Go Take it away, Shh, Forrest. Peggy. Shh. Tunes time. Oh. Okay. Wow. I still can't believe this is happening. I got prompted and I right. missed something. Damn it. My Gallows Creek didn't I was too busy with my tunes. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? Wow. A bit harsh. Uh, it's nothing personal. It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Or oh, that was hell. terrible. It's not really anywhere. Well, I like it here. People are polite and... Hey, uh, let me first. Stab happy. Stab happy. Stab happy. Don't be awful, Forrest. Oh. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. Snack. Some folks have been okay, or you don't notice the thing after a while. But let's be nice. Let's be nice. Some folks have been okay. You're not terrible. Oh. After a while. Not terrible <laughs> after a while? Oh. High praise I'm coming from Forrest Nash. Hateful. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for... I think you're swell. <laughs> anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. I think and that so. Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Yep. 1242. Okay. Caller on line one. No, busy. Busy. Yeah. Okay. Now I can ask the call. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. Ooh. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Nice. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. 
What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so sad that Deputy Martinez didn't make it. Oh, he sounds I bad. saw her a lot <laughs> over the years down here at Ponte's Pizza. Peggy, Peggy is black for bad as she is. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to thank you for doing your best. So, <gasps> I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Yes, please, Just the free pizza. Forward to when all this blows over. I can't throw wow. again. <laughs> Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. That's really good of you. But you really don't have to, though. Oh, yes, excuse me, do not say no to free pizza. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great <laughs> deals that'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, <laughs> the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, what? Oh, Poor no, choice no, of words. Ponty. No, 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 no. Ponty. E uh, yeah, that didn't come yeah, out great. <laughs> that didn't come out great. <laughs> I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just. He was shameless I didn't plugging the pizza, right? Anyone else no, nobody guess the Yeti screen. We've got a great special this week. Great. <laughs> Our famous beer and pizza. Beer. Deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've or just else. got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Yeah. For... Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Good job, Peggy. Oh, real quick, before I forget. It's probably time we played a paid ad. Oh, these are the ads, now, right? Now, a word from our sponsors. Which one? You know how to play an ad, right? Which one? Uh, yes, I do. Sure. Which one? Which, which advert? Um, Teddy's Kelly Gallows. Teddy for Mayor. No, I don't want to listen to that. No. No. Yeetus. Um, what's this one? This one is Harvest Festival. Okay. In it goes. Time to play a commercial. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! We got it all out on Chiblet Field. <laughs> we got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, oh Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Croconole, Corn Music, More Corn Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Jugglers, Jams, Jellies, and Jamborees. Wow. Praying. <laughs> We got baby crawling, <laughs> balloon popping, balloons for sale, beer contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss. Hey, you there. Satan, hey, you there. And ponies, apple bobbing, firearms, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, seats, bitten, sand licking, cracker cramming, and cat shop. <laughs> You know what it's... And fake tattoos, oh, he's still, he's still going. Puppets, petting, Jeebus. Amazing, maze, maze, square dancing, story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle. He's still going. Pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest, and of course our <laughs> famous gourd measure off. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. Thank you for that harvest festival. I can see why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here, Forrest. <laughs> oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM <gasps> mug, mug, sticker set, yeah. or a poster. Yeah. Let's see mug. what our next caller would choose. Do you know what it was giving me? It's giving me, um, you know, that scene in Beetlejuice where he's Beetlejuice does his own advert. We what have a call it? waiting. Peggy, I'm talking. <laughs> but it felt like that. It was, I, I want to say it's like, we can go anywhere you want to go. We can be anything you want to be. And it just, it reminded me so much of that. Okay, Peggy, now I'm ready. Micromanaging me. Good damn it, Peggy. Welcome to the scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm yeah. at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. And... Oh, no. Wait. Forrest Nash? Yeah. I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. No. What? God, another one? Leslie left me in charge. I am 911. She's like. <laughs> I want that I one. I am 911, at least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son. I don't <laughs> care who you are. 
Just I am the law. <laughs> Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? No. Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? No. I can cite you as an anonymous source. No. If that's a concern. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Yeah. Live on... Damn it. Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, yeah you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> they get worse every year. Uh, this punk I wasn't even my a pipe disappointing bowls. twinkle in his daddy's <laughs> eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. I don't think it's a team. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Rude. Every year this happens. They Ooh. think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror to 30 years anymore. ago. Oh, I am. Anyway, okay. I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. Mooning. Mooning Mooney. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. <gasps> it's me? What if he killed Sheriff Oh, wait. Matthews? Was that always like that? Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. Can we? Can I? There's a Ooh. set in the boardroom. Ooh. Oh, 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 sorry. Can you get out of there? Or you think you can take the whistling man? Let's go, can you get out of Maurice, there? Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, uh, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. Oh, okay. we need to do something. Can't do anything. All we can do from here is give car advice. Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? You have the they telephone number. They have a bunch number? of phones set up across the office, right? Really? In different rooms with different extensions. Okay. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Ooh, and buy Marie's time and get an exclusive interview with the killer. No, we we, we actually trying to help. Here. We're trying to be helpful. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. Worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch <laughs> hasn't killed me yet. Sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out. You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? Come on. For that to be successful, you're gonna need every. I think Maurice doesn't want saving. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor, all delivered while the killer is en route. Ooh. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Uh, I'm not. I'm gonna play my tunes. Oh, that was pretty. That was pretty poor. Is he photocopying? Why are you photocopying? It's something like a photocopy machine. You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell. I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second too. Go Ooh. check your fax machine. Oh, okay, okay. Don't let oh, me down. Not yet. Okay. Okay, it was close. How do you know our fax machine number? Where's the fax machine? Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Okay. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Go to the office on the Should other I end of the hall. Should I play some banging tunes first? Grab the fax from the machine. Is this fax machine? Easy. This is a photocopier, right? Ah! <laughs> it's so bright. This must be it. Okay. Secret archives. Oh, that's me. Is that me? Ubicle. Okay. What are we doing with this, Peggy? I can't run fast, can I? It's just regular walking. Okay. Sweet. Banging tunes. Um, are we putting this here? Fresh bits on the floor for now. And then yeet this one. And then we put this one here. Hey, did you get the fax? Yeah. Yes, I have it. Yes, I have. 
time to turn the music off. That time. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my facts? Yeah. You. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Rude. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. Okay. And now he's in the office next door. Oh, he's in that room. Okay. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. Do I have a ready on my end, Forrest. Telephone? Again. We want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. Oh, away. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? So we're trying to get him to go away. So... The editors? Should I try the editors? Yeah, let's try the editors office. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. I'm ready. Right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Um... I can't even remember where he said he is. <laughs> where, where is he? Um, I honestly can't remember where he told me he is. Has he drawn where he is? Did he, did he say he was in a cubicle? I honestly can't remember which room he said he was in. So I'm going to wait for the stream to catch up so someone can remind me what room he's already in because i can't remember he's in the boardroom okay yeah he's in the boardroom so if we send him to the editor's office then um so the stairs on second floor so where's the kitchen we could send him to the kitchen because that's near the stairs to like the escape right should I try that? I'm worried I'm going to kill him. Um, got the kitchen or the archives. Uh, let's go kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah, that makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Yeah, I knew that. Not of course bad, I did. Nash. I'm ready to place the call. <laughs> Are you ready, Pretend Mr. Russell? I already knew that. Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Do it. Yes, sir. Calling now i don't want to be responsible for someone else so yeah please don't have to put me go in charge <laughs> i can't believe it he's actually heading to my office he's whistling good plan peggy it was all peggy's idea credit goes to her uh don't mention it the coast is clear i'm shutting off the tv so he won't see me on the security cameras then making my move I'll call when I get there. Good job, Maurice. Do you think Maurice actually likes this now? Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. He'll but be now, fine. now what do we do? We um, gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? I'm ready. Are you sure there's a call incoming? It's not flashing light. Oh, okay. Ready. <laughs> ready as I'll ever Ready, be. Peggy. I put him through. Ready, steady, Peggy. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Good job. I've got to give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right. Let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, mm -hmm. which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Good job. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly or quietly. Ooh, uh, can you lock him in a room? Could you lock him in a room? That'd buy you enough time. That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. Oh, damn it. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Okay. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy, juicy secrets. secrets about <laughs> outer space? Always juicy. Now's not the time, Peggy. <laughs> Peggy, I don't think now's the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Later, Peggy. Kids, we're in the big time now. 
I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the sound outside. Like Brown. <laughs> you can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in. We can catch the son of a gun. Bingo. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? There's no number. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Hmm. Uh, use a radio? No. Because then he'll hear us and he'll know what we're doing. So let's not do that. Um, use yourself as bait. Is there a TV? Let's go is there TV. a TV in that room? Maybe that could draw him in. Ah, of course. I turn it up, he comes in, <laughs> and I get my head chopped off. I thought I was being smart. Think of something else. <laughs> oh my god. Um, oh no. Use a radio. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off. Yeah, use that one. Is... I hope it... <laughs> this, this, now's not the time for asking that if someone's a fan. That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted okay. with the search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Makes me nervous. See, I thought not the radio. We're gonna save him, because Forrest. Because then the whistling Heck, if this works, man we will might hear what we're doing. The whole town. The stream delays is a lot, isn't it? <laughs> I don't have that command activated yet. Sorry, Bud Bud, but thank you. <laughs> um, let's go. Let's make it happen. Come on, We're let's close. make it happen. Think let's positive. Let's make it happen, Peggy. How can we fail? I mean, it's a plan with steps. Get the radio, plan oh, it in the secret you. archives, thank lure you, the thank killer, you, thank and very much, oh, bum, 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 call okay. incoming from the reporter. We're, we're Putting it through now. Here. Nash, hello. Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. Right where I thought it would be. Good it's job, It's all Grace. coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Um, he's about to... Uh, Maurice, turn the volume down. Yeah. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. <laughs> I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Maurice was not doing that. The radio that? works. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. He's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Oh, yeah. Great, Scott. See, Wait. do you see what I mean? It is oh, very Doc Brown sounding voice, isn't it? If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. But wait! We're the radio! Exactly, play tunes! We can just be quiet until you're ready. Oh, okay. Uh, if you can do that, then... <laughs> yeah, sure. I can do that. 99.16. I know that's your station number. Is it? I don't Your remember. Good editor <laughs> always double checks. Can you confirm that? Confirm it, Peggy. Hit the stinger, Peggy. Hit the stinger, Peggy. 189.16. The screen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. <laughs> now I just need. I to thought this thing would help. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Oh, 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 oh! Is it time dependent? Okay, no. So, um, to the boardroom. Boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is zero four. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office. That's my thinking. But we oh, haven't exactly. seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Oh, Peggy. I'm make sure. it cool, Peggy. Make the call. You're okay. making me nervous, Calling Peggy. the boardroom now. God damn it. Ring, ring. Eee? Ring, ring. He's on the move. Eee? I'll call you guys from my office in a second. 
Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Oh my god. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? 1.21 gigawatts is what I'll say. Um, I'll impersonate Mr. Russell. I'll give some fake advice. Yeah, fake advice. I'll pretend to tell Maurice to hide in the secret archive. The killer Ooh. will hear me. Go check it out. And we've got it. Your hands oh, are shaking. I like that. No. Make the killer think he has the upper <laughs> Have hand. Have I fudged it already? I appreciate the vote of confidence. Oh, Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you When's hide in the meantime? I. Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, <laughs> I can see under it. Wise words, there, Ecto. I got a big cabinet. But, uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. Oh. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Okay. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? Oh, no. Okay. Um... Hide in your ca hide under the desk. I mean, you can still see under the desk. Hide in your cabinet. Oh, I don't know. Where's the best place to hide? I mean, the, I think I think he's right. I think the cubicles are too far away. Um. I yeah, we can't go with the cubicles. I don't know what he can hide in, in the secret archive. You think cabinet as well? I. I think that is the best bet. I think I do agree. Cabinet. <gasps> Click it. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Oh God. Don't say anything. Okay. Until I've it's just time. time it's just time for Got Miko. It. We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. <gasps> hey, whistling man. Jackass. Forrest, I don't think that was enough time for him to hide. Oh, no. Wait, really? Oh, shit. <sighs> Forrest Dash, you son of a bitch. I told you to. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I thought it. I thought it was time. Forrest, he's. Is he's it not time yet? Out of print. <laughs> <sighs> Let's put on a song. Give I, us some time to recover. I thought I it was think that time. Would be for the best, Peggy. Is it not time? Folks, we'll be back soon. <laughs> if you have any stories about Maurice that you'd like to share, give us a call after this next track. We're already paying tribute to him. It's like, if you have any stories about Maurice, give us a call. He's just died. And they're like, Oh well, give us your stories. Whoopsie, let's pick a sad tune. We got any sad tunes? I better put a record Crying on. for help. Um, crying for help. That sounds like an appropriate one. <laughs> what job? Whoopsie. Well, this is gonna be a long night. Oh really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. <laughs> You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? <laughs> You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now. I think You're still all shrouded liable. in yeah. mystery. Whoopsie. <laughs> Stop eating records. No. 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 Oh. What do you want to know? I'll regret this, but okay. Maybe I like being a mystery. Um, okay, let's just go. What All do you right. want to know? Shoot. What do you want to know? Question one. <laughs> Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That's too general. What? Okay. <laughs> Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? No. Nope. No, that's too specific. <laughs> too specific? <laughs> me for Maury. I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. 
I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. Oh, no. It's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. You're sorry, why did you do it? Don't be sorry, I'm not. Let's just, let's just be like, it's how we go. Uh, it's okay, Peggy. It's one That's of how those it goes. Things. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and <laughs> pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. <laughs> you were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. See, I can't be well, trusted to be the nice. My folks oh my went God. the same way as yours. Um, what happened there? Huh? What a coincidence? That's just, you know, you, you ask oh. questions. What happened? What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got yeah. himself into a wreck, and, well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last so name. Bad. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just Ooh. trying to be... It's okay, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. That's fair. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Ooh, we better really? go check then. Think someone needs our help? Maybe. You want to go check it out? Yeah. Me? You sure you don't want to go? No way. I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Oh, gee, thanks, Peggy. <laughs> gee, thanks, Peggy. <laughs> Oh, look at, you're not even going to bring it to me? The front door. See you in a bit. <laughs> oh, doors are difficult. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Down to the first floor, then check the door. I'm not getting in there tonight. Oh, I just assumed that was the stairs. Is that not the stairs? <laughs> We're now being trusted to let someone in the building. <laughs> oh, goody. Oh, no stairs? No? Exit. Exit. Where's the exit? No. Exit? Exit? Wait. That's her room, isn't it? That's not opening. No. Not in the toilet. It's down here? Oh! I didn't think that opened before, I'll be honest. Ring, ring, he. A tape. Oh. Play on air. Oh, apparently I did not want the tape. <laughs> I was trying to inspect it. Play me on air. Okay. I'm gonna play this now. Oh, who was there? Nobody. I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? Then I. No, they left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, "Play me on air." All right, put it on, I guess. Let's see what it is. Help. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. Using our voices. Oh, squeaky. I did not enjoy that. Nope. What the hell was that? You just. I. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Oh, say something. Folks, the. Oh, <clears throat> folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how the killer could get from the newspaper to KFAM so quick, but... That means there's more than one. Be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Give us a call if you need help. <laughs> you can get us <laughs> on 911. <laughs> no. Don't call us. Don't call us. If you, if you want to be alive, don't call us.
Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. Thank you, Mrs. McKenzie. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. Okay. All right, folks. A break. We need to take a oh, quick music. break. Right. This one's for all those folks out Ooh, there no music. keeping the hatches battened. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. Oh, well, I'll do this right. What's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Oh, really? Oh, really? You pushed the cassette under the... Did you? What? Just go get it. I'm trying. You won't let me get it. <laughs> Play me ASAP off air. Okay, okay. I didn't want I you know. It was buried in my wallet. I only just saw it. See what it says. Uh, play me ASAP. I'm doing everything in the wrong order. That's Reggie's handwriting. And he wrote it in purple. And? Purple is Reggie's angry color. Angie. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. Oh dear. So did we play it now? He has an angry color. Yeah. He has an angry color. Oh, Forrest. I'll give you the Reggie rundown later. I want an angry color. Right now, we need to play that tape. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, play. Straight to voicemail? My God. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. Why would we I gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and Who's? probably never will again. And oh. we've still not received any information Who's? about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank. I didn't want you as part of this debut. I don't have Mr. It. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash. I don't have it. Prior and current friendship, Gina. <laughs> Forest Knight, you alright? Don't worry about Gina. You know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is the best work yet. Do I have it? I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. I don't have it. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. Rude. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest. You know, Roddy Snatcher? No. <laughs> I don't. Are you a big fan of Roddy? I love Roddy. I Will Always Find You was my song. <laughs> I wish we still had it in rotation. Do we? Oh my god. I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. I can't select any of these. I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. Did he? We have I don't to see play it. Final Breath. Where is it? Did I? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's got to be downstairs at reception. You gonna get it? Man, I can't believe Barbara I'm didn't say it. anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication... Folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Why? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, am I... <laughs> hey, did you get it? No! No, not yet. Any ideas where it might be? Okay, if it got yeah. mailed to the station, it's probably still at reception. I'm going. Check around there. I'm not Thanks. going. Let me leave. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait. The is the stairs in this way <laughs> okay so i found the game that i want to play and it's called yeeting vinyl records <laughs> oh my god <laughs> um here music mm. 
No. Not that. That's a game. Uh, traps and stuff. Can I go round? Oh, we can. Oh, oh, multiple things. Uh, where does one keep the mail? Oh, it's a game. What are we doing with the game? Oh, not a lot apparently. Uh, need a key. There's, there's like so many keys, man. Where do you keep the mail? This this reception is disappointingly organized. Oh, <laughs> I meant to read that. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to throw that. I meant to read it. Bob, I don't know how to say this, but I think we should see other people. I hope we can still be friends, though. Brad, PSG, I mean, five bucks for the first four tickets. Heck you, Brad. I, you know, I've changed. I've changed my mind, Brad. You know what? I actually did mean to do this. Heck you, Brad. Um. <laughs> so let's go E. Ooh, maze, maze. Um, do we get to use that later? I kind of hope so. So I better should I put that in a safe place. There we go. Safe place. Can I read this? No. Uh, can I read this? Uh. No. What are those? Oh my god. What are those? Cat pick. Tiny umbrellas. Um. Hmm. You're telling me to get, but I don't know what she did with the mail. Locked. For now. Is this the mail? Oh, that's the mail room. Okay, so where's the key? Key, key, key. Where's the key? Where do you keep your keys? Keys, please. Keys, keys, keys. Where do you keep your keys? Uh, in the drawers? No. No. Keys? 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 Ooh. Do we have keys? Oh! That was unnecessarily loud. Um, hmm. There is not a desk drawer for this one. Ooh, tissues. Can I press the button? No, there's no keys. There's no keys. No. No keys. So I just go back and say no, because I have no keys. What's that? Oh, that's the maze maze. Hmm. Oh, you can't put it down. Datables? Okay, fair enough. Huh? Did I miss an instructional about like where the keys are? Was I too busy? Was I too busy yeeting the records again? <laughs> I think I was too busy yeeting the records again. Um, to pay attention to what she was saying. I'm not even playing any tunes. That's terrible. I think I must have missed an instruction. Because I can't get in the mail room. Where would she have put the key? Can I go up any higher? Oh, we can. Don't need to right now. Okay, I'm going to go back and tell her no. And see what she says to me. Oh, wait. Are you serious? I thought I needed to go in the mail room. What? Under the desk. 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 Oh. Oh, snazzy. Final breath. Damn. My Thank tiny you. Selection grows. I genuinely thought. Oh, was that a bloody what? Um. <laughs> I genuinely thought I had to go into the mail room to get that. And I'm still pressing shift as if I can run. I don't know why. It's not making me go any faster. <laughs> okay, I got it. Ready, Peggy? Hey, did you get it? Yes. Got it. Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next,
courtesy of the British sensation himself, is so a track right you one? won't hear everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Final breath. Here Here's we go. Final breath by Roddy Snatcher. Ready? Ready? Wow. God, Roddy's the best. He is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Thank you, Zoomies. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Can I eat Peggy, it? You just talked through the whole song. Can I eat it? Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. Eat it. I really hope it's nothing serious. Evening, caller. I this hope it's nothing serious either. Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. This is Murphy! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Am I going to keep Murphy uh, alive? What have you got for us tonight? Two things, Mark. Two things. First, happy birthday to my Murphy. son, Fernando. He's free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. <laughs> I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other Please thing. Please don't say you're in danger. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Ruben, come face me, a true warrior <laughs> at the Gallows <laughs> Waste Disposal Plant. Guess what? Guess what? This is a bad idea, Murphy. Or oh, oh boy, here we go. He got his ace. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's Dojo series. No, Murphy. So get ready, whistling man. You just let loose the junkyard dog. Please don't. Dog. Please don't howl. <laughs> My God. Oh no. <sighs> and there That's he better goes. Than I thought he was going to howl. Gentlemen. Keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become <laughs> our hometown hero. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Commercial? Okay, what's it? Oh, oh, I didn't mean to eat that one. That was not for eating. Master Rubby. Oh, well, that's, a, that's good timing. Wisdom. Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Then step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate Kung and receive direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. <laughs> you will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator, the discipline of the tarantula, the speed of the tuna, the poise of the scorpion wow. and the wisdom of the bullfrog <laughs> using classified <laughs> techniques i'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30 minute video sessions oh, wow. ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low low price of only 24.99 just call 555-7861 usa to take your first step to becoming a champion you gonna sign up <laughs> If I'd known. Never forget the element of surprise. If you buy today, wow. you'll receive two additional VHS tapes. Hey, the yeah. tornado technique and karate love me. Call today. Do people really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. Anyone yeah. want to sign up? I bet karate love making? love making sure is something. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest I, Nash I cannot a even... for words? I love the words. Let's just get to the show. Wow, <laughs> what a deal. Only twenty four ninety nine, And I'm just... not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. Just ask Murphy. But unless they pay us more, <laughs> then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. <laughs> we got a caller. You. you know what to do. If I'd have known all these years ago that I didn't need to take karate lessons, I just needed, 
I just needed what what were they called again? What's it called? I just needed. I suppose I should take this call. Not that one. I need is. Was it Master Robbie? Master Robbie's karate love making. Oh, I still have it. Jesus. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Who is this? Oh God. Are you okay? Do you need Are help? You okay. Do you need help? Forrest. He called me. <clears throat> Forrest Goom. That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me. Jesus. Okay, listen, Collar, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them, or...? Um, sure, we saved sure. them. They're fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. They're fine. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, Collar? <laughs> I'm Dr. Sullivan of Virginia. Well, am I gonna Sorry. keep Virginia alive? Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Please don't <laughs> let me die. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... Oh, God. Can you call it... Can you hide? Hide. Maybe you can hide in your house? He'll find me. I know he'll you find me. <laughs> uh, call a neighbor. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. Oh, There's just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house? Yes. They're having okay. a party. I try not to lie. Take out coming in all night. Lawn covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. And I'm about to get... Oh, God. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't... Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Come on, Virginia. Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat... We can get a message to them to go and help. If you know Virginia, who the frat are. Who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Oh my god, Virginia. <laughs> Try to remember. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. I can't do this. Yes, you can, Virginia. Oh. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. Well, I think we I just killed Virginia. Figure out what takeout to order. Did I put too much Here's pressure some music on Virginia? For your own midnight snacks. Oopsie spaghettis. Um, what haven't we tried? Let me try this one. How's this? Oh, oh, hey, oh. What places do take out in Gallows? That's all right. Food? Off the top of my head. Uh, well. Ponte's Pizza. There's a barbecue place. Grilling Ponte's spree, Pizza. And you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Chal what? Oh, and of course water? we have Ponte's Pizza. Ponte's Pizza. That's it, I think. Ponte's Pizza. Let's get calling. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. Good That's plan, That's not Batman. going to work. Take out client privilege. Oh. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. We we'll just deliver one to each story. of them, and but we'll put the same message in each this. of them. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from. Yeah. Call the takeout, pretending to be from the frat. Yes. Place an order and include a note asking them to call the station. Boom, Peggy. Peggy's got it. There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Better get to it. Well, let's not waste any time then. That's the spirit. Got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. Ooh, and maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. Right, is she going to put that light on again before I can leave? God, where to start? What would make me order from somewhere if I were a oh my partying God. frat okay. boy? So, downstairs. We have a food critic, right? Chad or In Brad the kitchen. or... Uh, I just have to look oh, around. Oh, I forgot to get the key. Why doesn't Peggy want to see me? So the only door that I can open is this one. A kitchen. Okay, so takeout. Ooh, beer. Okay. 
Uh, ooh, coffee. Coffee, cloth. Uh, what else have we got? Gulpy star. Um you reckon i i wondered that because like the hair was like really similar to who jumped out on me earlier um but she's here unless like she's got minions doing her dirty work so i'm looking supposed to be looking for clues for takeout right i'm looking supposed to be picking in the trash rooting through trash hey. this is a new low oh interesting offer let's go take this Wonder how well gallows high performed ah, i'm stuck in the door one piece pizza, one free beer. That's a pretty good deal. I will take it. I will take the pizza. Oh, you reckon she's not here? Hey, find anything useful? Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Hell yeah. Let's make the call. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? Call Ponty's Pizza. Call Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Ponty's Pizza, Ponty's pizza is on the line. Ponty's. Ponty's Pizza. May I take your order? One pepperoni. Hey, dude. Ratman calling or hey, dude? Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, may I take your order? Garlic bread. Pizza. The roast pizza. Oh, man. I got a frat to feed. So give me that slow roast pizza. Oh, my God. Oh, this is dude accent. Fine choice. But that will take three hours. You sure? No. No, 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 no. Never mind. Just give me the garlic bread. Can do. Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge <laughs> fans of Ponty's Pizza. Oh, really? I should really Good damn it, call them and let them know. <laughs> and now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Okay. <laughs> uh, play. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Let's storm riders take you on a rock every time. and roll ride with the Glam Jam. Glam Jam. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No. Pizza. Wh where would you actually <laughs> eat? Oh, I mean, they're Is all Is he hitting on Peggy? Evil. Are we hitting on Peggy? Hey, Peggy. Oh, wait, I can't hear Peggy. <laughs> equally awful, equally good. Uh, you mean equally awful. No, equally good. But if I had to order, not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right. So, between grilling spree and chalupa copper. Ch chalupa copper. It depends. Do Hello, I want a plate full of meat? That's, that's what I'm talking about. Or do I Hello. want really, really Humbers? good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got oh. a call coming in. Close the music. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Nash, Forrest Nash. Some calling, Brandon. I have to call this number. Might <laughs> <laughs> yes. be with some butthead Blanker, going on here. <laughs> this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And. Is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? No. <laughs> this is such a Goose prank. These buttons don't work. Um. Plunker, this is an emergency. I. Nice try, Goose. Oh, I may God. be drunk, but I'm no fool. Uh, listen, I need you to. Goose, come get beer. Your brother's awaiting for you. 
I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? Play a song, dude. Play a song. Oh, let me get a second opinion on this. Norman the Barbarian. What do you think? <laughs> Great idea. Play a song. Norman the Barbarian says. Yeah. Only the radio man can control it. Yeah. So play us the flow. The flow. Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. You can do that. Okay, okay. I'll play the damn song. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Radio Man. Got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you. Just say no more. Bunker's moving the house. Oh god, you didn't let's finish. Forest, line two. Hello, you're live on 189.16, the stream. Forest, it's the killer. He's at the door. Oh my god. Face. Oh my god, it's it's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk, I promise. Did I save someone? I could use a drink. Thank you, Forrest. You're welcome, Virginia. I saved and thank someone. You to and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as togas. And pizza. I saved someone. Hey, Forrest. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? Nope. What was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. You Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive, but your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. <laughs> in the meantime, rate, if that. looks like we have another <laughs> caller. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. So horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town? Ooh, terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. I hope our karate it's dude's okay. Safe Family friendly place. Ponty. Ponty. Oh, 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 oh. What small business do you own? You sure up late or good for you, friend? Let's go small business. Oh, what small business do you own? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> since you ask, it's Ponty's Pizza! The best and only pizza place in town! Come on down oh and my get yourself God. a crack and deal on our two for one. Go away, Ponty. God damn it, Ponty, no. <laughs> no free ads. No, Ponty, no. Uh, I mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. God damn Calling it, Ponty. Calling Ponty's did say Virginia. <laughs> I can be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing just... Uh, I can be mad. <laughs> Look, <laughs> he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Do we? Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. God damn it, Ponty. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Host of 189.16, The Scream. <laughs> Becky Ponty. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hi. Hello. Am I on air? Sure, Art Collar. What's there. your name? Oh, it's Eugene. And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze. Oh, I've got that. Listening to your show. I was downstairs. Looking up at the stars and waiting star. for her. Lorraine. We got a special lady coming out to see you. You are yeah. my density. Molly. <laughs> we planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. To take our first journey together <laughs> into the Giving that vibe labyrinth. right. <laughs> That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought someone she'd someone be gets here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. What are you asking me? Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or 
wait and Hola. see. For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Go home to your parents, stay and wait. You could get lost by yourself. Go home. Go home. Go home. Eugene, you really need to go home <laughs> to your parents. I like My the love story. parents are dead, actually. Oh. But, uh, awkward. Oh, jeez. Awkward. Yeah. Awkward. I guess it's not the night. So awkward. Hang on. I hear some rustling. I guess she came after all. Molly! I'm in the middle! It's not Molly. It'll take a little while to get it's here. It's not but, Molly. Uh, Thanks again. It's not Molly. It's been good talking. That's, I knew it. It's not Molly. Oh, wait a second. Molly can't whistle. <laughs> no, no. This is supposed to be the best night of my life. Not the worst. We'll get you out of this. Stay calm, Eugene. We'll I know the map is downstairs. This. I saw Carter, it. I'm about to die a virgin. <laughs> Listen, Eugene. Breathe. Hide. And call back in yeah, a minute. Yeah, I'll get the we'll map. Get you out. I'll get the map. I'll get the I, map. I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry. <laughs> okay, the map's downstairs. Well, the map's downstairs. While Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. Have I got a lover's track? Okay, stab in the twilight sounds romantic. Yes. It's funky, it's groovy, it's Stab in the Twilight by Knife and Easy. <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to get him through the maze maze? Because we've got a maze you maze You know Barbara, our receptionist? She's a maze maze fanatic. Yeah, let me get it. Shame she isn't here. No. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. Peggy, shut up! You were going to go last week. I thought the maze maze was for kids. It's not just for kids, Forrest. The maze maze is fun for kids and adults. I want to do the maze maze. Maybe we should call Barbara. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. Doesn't she work? Yeah, you should know her number. She probably has maze maze stuff yeah. somewhere. Downstairs. Go and see I've what you can it. find. Yeah, yeah. That'll yeah, hopefully yeah, be yeah, enough. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, which yeah. one is Barbara Not like me leave. again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. Let me leave. Let uh, me leave. Let me Hi, leave. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. Never does I know any where work because she's talking to Brad all day. It is. Like <laughs> bells? Right. Yeah. Sorry. I guess it's just the stress of. No excuses. Just go and find something I'm to help trying. us. I'm trying. Peggy, stop talking. Oh my God. I know where the map is. I had it. Right, here it is. Oh, no, there it is. Bingo. Here's what I was looking for. Let's get Eugene out. Get Eugene. Eugene. Who doesn't die, die a virgin? Bless him. I love that that, that was clearly his priority. <laughs> Any luck? Yeah. Yeah. I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? So no. Don't oh, care. Never mind. I it doesn't it. matter right now. That's a question for Barbara later. Oh, that was the message from Eugene Brad. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Okay, stop the music. Yeah. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. Yeah. And I hope the we Twilight. can Perfect help song. our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. <sighs> I'm lost, Forrest. I just ran and I... <laughs> I'm at a crossroad facing a tractor statue. Tractor. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Oh, okay. So he's at a crossroad facing a tractor statue. So the tractor is number one. That's number one. And he's got a gold state, gold to his right. So he's facing that. Okay. So we want to get him out, right? So we're trying to get him out the maze. So where are the ex? Where's the exit to the maze? So oh the egg oh okay 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 okay. So he wants to go left. That's the exit, isn't it? So he needs to go left. Go left. Go left. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Did I get it right? Uh, I went left. Okay. Then tried a right. Okay, so now he's should be I here. I have a pig statue in front of me. Yep. And a creepy rocking horse on my left. Okay, so he needs to go forward. Go forward. Okay. Here I go. Oh it's, God. Uh, oh God. Doesn't look right. Did I send him forward that way? No, no. I'm going back to where I was. I thought he was going left Jesus. up there. Left up oh, there. Oh shit! He's cutting through the wall. I meant left, like that was where forward. Do I go? So he has a pig statue in front. That's the front. And he has a rocking horse to his left, so he needs to go. What? He needs to go left. So he has a pig statue in front. That's the pig statue that's three. And a rocking horse to his left. So I know where he is. That's the exit. He needs to go that way. If he goes right, he'll go to a dead end. I need him to go left. I need him to go that way. Yeah, there's no there's no left, is there? I agree. It, it should be a left, but there's no left. He can't go left. Look, I've got backwards or go right. If he went right, he'd go, he'd end up in that dead end. If he went backwards, why would he go backwards? That's ridiculous. He's reversed now, go right. Okay. Go right. I'm scared. You don't have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. We lost Eugene, everybody. <laughs> Eugene is dead. So we've got poor kid, stupid kid, or guess what? That, that's what love does. That's what love does. I guess that's what love does. <laughs> it makes us fall to pieces. <laughs> I just don't, Forrest, okay? Don't. By the way, why do you it's think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for <laughs> Eugene, I think she probably never left home. <laughs> oh, Eugene. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Walton. What? We'll make sure to add what the What did Eugene do to deserve that? <laughs> Oh, look, I've got scores. Keys collected, records collected, paperball ba baskets made from desk. That's pretty good, actually. I'm going to save the game. Home librarian to our okay. list of systems. <laughs> well, this is going well, but at least, at least not all the deaths are on me. That, that one's on Drex. I trust Drex with that one that's funny but exo is proud thank you exo <laughs> um so i think this is going very well i did say that i was gonna set out to some terrible positions and i think i've succeeded at that i don't know about you i think it's going fine <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's going to be anyone left by the end of this game, is there? <laughs> Zoomies is extremely disappointed in me. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we're saving, we're saving the game there. So that's part one tonight. Um, we are going to play part two. We can play the next part on Sunday. Um, I think probably the morning. I think I'm going to aim for the morning, but I'll confirm it in Discord. Um, yeah, I'll confirm the time in Discord, but part two is happening on Sunday, so so maybe we can kill, I mean, save more people <laughs> than your killer made a DVD. So, yeah, just like, who trusted advice from me? You, you know, you get what you give. <laughs> hey, I'm not mad, Drex. I got to make that fantastic, that fantastic joke about falling in, you know, fall to fall in, what was it, fall to pieces? In that song. Wait, that's a song, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good song. Did you honor your name? You moried them all? I might have. With assistance, of course. 
<laughs> okay. So, thank you very much for joining me this evening. I'm going to stop it there for tonight. We'll continue on Sunday. Time to be confirmed in Discord. And I'm going to say goodnight. And take care. Sleep well, everybody. Um, just, if you hear any whistling, lock the door. And I um, hope it's not whistling man or Negan. <laughs> okay. Good night, everybody. See you Sunday.